What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. It's about Halloween ends in this video here again today and going over the reshoot stuff again because uh, apparently now we have some dates we can expect this movie to go through the reshoots. So this is coming from Halloween Daily News and I'll leave a link to that channel in the description. Shout out to you. They are stating that according to a casting agency uh, or an extra casting agency that the shooting dates for reshoots for Halloween ends is I guess taking place from June 20th through june 27th now that at least tells us that it's going to be lasting for seven days a week <laughs> so i know a lot of people are then going to say oh they're not going to be able to make it to their october release no that's not what's going to happen the same thing happened with halloween 2018 and halloween 2018 came out did far more than people thought it was going to do it exceeded expectations critical acclaim and we got these two sequels confirmed back to back because of all the success that came from that one initial movie so in respect to them shooting for seven days that doesn't mean that they're not going to be able to make their october release date because that's still many months from now compared to when they're doing their reshoots so the other thing of course is that i talked about how apparently some people think that they're reshooting the finale I haven't seen anything to confirm that. That's just what the, the consensus is I'm seeing online for most people. They could be shooting new scenes, though. That's another thing to point out. They could be shooting scenes that were in the script that they left out, but now they're going back to shoot them again because they might think that from the feedback at whatever test screening, I guess, took place, that the movie could benefit from having these additional scenes filmed. Or, again, it could be not dealing with the finale. It could be other scenes in the movie that are getting reshot so someone else brought out another important question here when they're having these test screenings how do we know that most of these people are halloween fans or not that's why i i went on a a kind of uh not a rant but i made it a point to talk about about this if you are doing reshoots based off of test audience reactions it's important to remember this the test audience might respond positively to something like they did with Halloween Kills, apparently, which had no reshoots. And then the movie came, and that was basically a critical flop. It did financially well, but it was a critical flop compared to Halloween 2018. So it's like, okay, were these Halloween fans that didn't like Halloween ends? Were they Halloween fans that liked Halloween Kills? Or were these just people who, of course, just showed up and wanted to see a test screening and they had fun with what they were watching? They didn't really digest anything. They just thought it was all fun and they had they had a good time while they were there. They didn't have really too many too much feedback to give because maybe one, they didn't know how to give any proper feedback. And two, they were just excited to be at a test screening. Um, I'm just thinking about that. It's important to consider those things. Were these Halloween fans in attendance at these press at these uh, test screenings? I meant to say, because again, there were no reshoots done for Halloween Kills, and apparently all the test screenings were positive. But how many of those people giving those positive reactions are even Halloween fans? Like in the sense that they are, I guess you could say, die hard or just in general fans. Because there are times where yes, you'll have a test screening, and those in attendance aren't even fans of the thing that they're test screening they're literally just watching a random movie because they were so they were selected or lucky enough to be be selected to attend a, pre a test screening or they found a way to attend a test screening and that it thought it would be cool to do because they didn't have nothing better to do for the evening and they've always wanted to do a test screening so they went to a test screening for a halloween movie and they didn't have much feedback to go off of so they told everybody it was good but then of course when halloween kills came out I saw that maybe they should have had some reshoots because there was a lot in the movie that was not good. <laughs> Apparently, according to despite the fact that those people who saw the test screenings for kills had nothing negative to say. So they kept everything the same, I guess. But with this one, maybe this would indeed lend to us having a better movie than Halloween Kills because of that. But again, like I said before, maybe what they're about to reshoot and give us is going to be not well received by the public and then whatever they did have even though it was a presumably not well received at a test screening maybe what they had already shot but are now going to reshoot is the thing that you all would have been more accepting of because there is a chance that what they're about to reshoot and attach to the to the new ending or whatever wherever it's supposed to get attached in this in this film process there's a chance that it has more negative reception 
on a larger scale from people who see it versus whatever they already originally had, which could have been more well received if they had just released that. Because again, I'm just using that Halloween Kills reshoot stuff, which didn't have any reshoots. And apparently the test screening reactions were overly positive. Again, I made a video about that. But now after seeing Halloween Kills, I'm like, okay, were these Halloween fans in attendance? Uh, and again, were these Halloween fans in attendance for this Halloween Ends test screening? There's a lot to consider there. The If anything, you know, I, 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 I something just tells me that what they're about to reshoot is either going to be two things. If they can, t if we somehow find out what the original stuff was that they reshot against was going to be shown in ends and we find out that was better than what they're about to give us, then I, I think we need to start saying that maybe you should have multiple test screenings. And because I, I don't know if they have multiple or not, but it just sounds like they, they tend to go off of one test screening which again could be in attendance by people who are not fans of the series, <laughs> uh, which is why maybe getting that overly positive reception from that test screening for Halloween Kills was a bad thing because then you put out a movie that was completely lacking compared to the 2018 movie. It was still fun. It was still solid, but it wasn't as competently made as opposed to the 2018 movie. But again, the, the reshoot dates apparently are going to be June 20th through June 27th. Now, most of these reshoots, I, I'm assuming, have to do with Michael Myers. And I am going to assume that it has to do with the finale. It might not. And maybe those of you who are going to, I guess, go out of your way to go to the set in Savannah will find out more details about what they're reshooting and you'll share them online. And maybe we'll all find out what it is exactly they're reshooting. Uh, because in the 2018 film, the thing that they reshot was the finale. So that's why many of us are going to safely assume that history is going to repeat itself and they're reshooting the finale here again but that doesn't mean that's what it is so we'll see what ends up happening and we'll see if halloween ends ends up being a more competently made film as opposed to halloween kills but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below are you excited for halloween ends are you excited about the reshoots <laughs> if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post in case you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limits any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next next video.